guys, what is up? Will here, and today I'll be showing you how to spawn as a custom character in your Roblox game. If you do not know what I mean by this, I basically mean when your players join into your game, they spawn as an avatar you have selected. For example, in simulators, let's say Snowman Simulator, you might want everyone to spawn as a snowman. Basically, you need to find out what you want it to look like and then after that just a few simple steps so let's get in to the tutorial first things first you're going to want to import an avatar so what i'm going to use is a plugin where you just get the player's username and then put it in i will leave a link to that in the description down below so if you want to use that go ahead if not just make sure to have a character right so i've got the plugin here i'm just gonna put in a name that is not mine my username is willis willis me so let's go ahead and add let's add mr flim flam as at the moment he is the biggest roblox youtuber so spawn r6 then what you're gonna want to do is rename him to starter character with the same capitals for capital S and capital C. Then, what you wanna do is primary part, make sure humanoid root part is selected. And then, all we need to do now is move it right down into starter player, right there. Okay, so I just loaded into it. And as you can see, this is what I look like this isn't even my avatar as well though because my username is willis willis me here and this is mr flim flam's avatar i'll quickly prove this to you so i'm gonna open up google and just quickly hop into my roblox homepage. and i'm just gonna put my profile as you can see it's not that there and also that's not the avatar we've got in game so yeah one thing you guys will need to do is just before putting it in starter player making sure nothing here is anchored because if it is anchored you will not be able to move and everyone that spawns in will just be flying or at least they'll just be wherever the spawn is so if it's in the air they will be flying and if you would like to see another tutorial on this where i show you how to add animations then maybe consider leaving a like and if you're new here or haven't already and find the content i make either helpful or entertaining then please subscribe as it helps the channel out but until next time goodbye guys